bisa. Kan nomor yang ada tuh ya mau ya mau ya. Amen. God is good. God is time. Ah, ni sema na fray asana tena ni washukuru sana kwa kuja. Sababu mmgeamua kukaa mahali mnakuwa na mgeamua kutokuja. Lakini mliamua kuja. Simbarikiwe sana. Patia mwenzako makofi mazuri, mwadili yake. Ya pia nawe sababu mekuja. So thanks so much. Uh, mimi sita shikuwa muda mwingi, eh, lakini na shikuru wana sana. Na kama vile ni disemba, tumefika mahari pakuwa masters and mistresses of our own self. Yani kuchikuwa mutawara wako mwenye? Mwenyewe. Ya kwaba usiwe na mtu anakuagaria, anakusukuma. Anakuapia pana, pitia hapa pana, fika nyumbani saa ya pana. Sasa tumefika mahali mpaka mungu agaria one na hui mtu ameansa kukoma na hui mtu ameansa kuelewa mambo. Isn't it? The more unakuwa responsible, the more mungu anadesign blessings zako na nasipanga vile sita kupata on time. The more unakuwa irresponsible, ya kwamba lazima uwe na supervisor, lazima uwe na mtu wapaya na kusukuma ukeda nyumbani, Umetoka mahigamero, lasima uwe na mtu wa kukuagaria urudi salama, bila kupitia chesholo chesholo, bila kupitia kwa demu na mutaro na agechaka. The more unakuwa irresponsible, the more unamfanya mugu a hold blessings, na unapata hile tunaita a dread blessings. A dread? Kuna watu wengi sisi sana, sisi about wikosea samani. Sisi about wipita wanayuthi samani. Maybe mahali wikosea, at this time, wakati mini kuna meaka yagu 48 ama 49, ni naona kuna balaka ni remiss nikiwa a youth. Kwa hivyo kulikuwa na adred blessings. Na inaesafika mahali wakati na hitaji, inakuwa invariant. So I miss it. Praise Jesus. Sababu mungu anakuwa na blessings kutoka utodoni mwako. Blessings ukiwa mtoto wa umri flani. Ukiwa mwanayuthi, ukiwa shule, ukiwa college, ukiwa kwa kazi, ukienda kuoleka, ukiwa na familia, ukiwa na kazi nafanya, na mamulaka ikine, there is always a blessing at a certain level. Praise Jesus. Amen. Na baraka, it is, it is when you get the blessings on time. Praise Jesus. Amen. Na uwe ukiwa pa mungu na mwabia, may you allow me to possess my blessing in full on time. Doka yo kona adirade blessed blessings. Amen. Mwaba ni arogosh. Na kwa da kwa ya uholowa. When the situation opposes you, what to do and what not to do. Ati mesema nini? The situation opposes you. Tell your neighbor, when the, when the situation opposes you, what to do and what not to do. Wakati uko maisha haya duniani, before mtu arudi kwa baba biguni. Hii dunia hii, ina mabo matamu, na ina mabo chungu. Na inakaa tu kama shakura nyubani. Shakura ikipiku hata kama iko na mnagani, iko imekangwa nini, iko na nyama inagani, na sima yuekwe chumfi, yuekwe? But there is no one time, the salt can be served as a meal. Isn't it? Lakini every food we eat, every meal, there is some salt in it. Hii maisha ni kama kuna usuri kabisa na pia kuna kapiripiri. Kuna nini? Na piripiri ni musuri, lakini ni musuri ikigia mahali panafa. Kama piripiri itaenda pamoja na nyama kwa mdomo, iko sawa. Lakini piripiri ikiaguka tani ya jisho, mambo iko na mnangani? You are not comfortable, isn't it? 
So I would want us to study the life of one girl in the Bible. We see the situation that she underwent and what she did and what she did not do. And what she was supposed to do and what she was not supposed not to do. Amen. Na si kusema hii ni ni ya yuthi wa sana it is all of us. Alikuwa mwana yuthi but ile mambo alipitia hata vijana wa frana wanaweza kupata mahali kama hapo. What we learn we you bring a, a, a replica of that. Unaona kama ni mimi nikafanya nini? Ama ni nini ngenipata? What should I do and what should I not do? Sababu sita wahakikishia that when you come to be born again or when you come to the salvation that things are straight. No. There is no a promise that everything will be straight here. Hata Yesu mwenyewe alisema, those who follow me na wale wameacha mambo yao wakanifuata watakuwa watabarikiwa mara mia moja hapa they shall be blessed with other parents other brothers other sisters plus persecution baraka ya Mungu inakujaga plus persecution so persecution is like a part of salvation ni kama mateso ni ni, ni part moja ya baraka zetu duniani but when we shall get to heaven heaven is a different life altogether no suffering, no pain. Hakuna pilipili kule. Wanaisa sifiwe. So, wacha tuwagalia katika kitabu cha muanzo. Kumina sita. Uh, chapter number 16, verse number 1 through to 11. Genesis chapter number 16, verse 1 through to 11. And I want to read in English. The Bible says, Now, Salai Abraham's wife, bear him no children. And she had an hard maid, an Egyptian whose name was Hagar. And Salai said to unto Abla, Behold now, the Lord has restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in, in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abraham here came to the voice of Salai. And Salai, Abraham's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abraham had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abraham, to be his wife. Nasa ntaka wagaria hapa. Abraham and Salah, they were not very poor people. Actually, they were very rich. And they had a handmaid. And this was like a slave girl. Na walikuwa memununua wapi? Egypt. So she was an Egyptian, but Abraham and Sarah were equal Hebrews. Lakini hapa menunua mtoto, slave girl, awe akiwa saidia. Yalikuwa anasaidia Sarah kufua nguo, kufanya kazote za nyumbani, maybe kufagia mahali pabusi, like that. Then it happened, Sarah mwenyewe was not able to bear a child. Na mnajua aibu ya mama abaya najua kona mzee, lakini hapati mtoto. Mtoto ni baraka. All those women, watoto maishani, there is some shame, there is rejection that he can follow them. In a wakijua, marriage is complete with or without children. Pupata mutoto ni nyongesa ya mungu. If they can understand that, wanaesapata maisha, abao ikona amani. Na wasijifishe, na wasipatwe na machugu ya moyo. Mwadha ni arawosho. So hapa, when Sarah saw she could not be a child, na alikuwa mzee sana, she requested, ama she commanded, mzee, chukua hui maid, we, 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 haga, ingia hapa. Na wakati aligia, Abraham had no choice. Na huya nasema, maybe I might get children by her. Sasa angali a slave. A slave has no authority. A slave has no rights. A slave has no say power. Aka utumu wanayuthi, Na sasa hao diyo kama wasazu wake, na wasazu wake rasima gewati. So wakati aliyabiwa, enda na huyu muse. Na muse huyu ni kama kuka yake. She had nothing else but to go. Alienda na wakaona na Abraham. Na akafanyo, akafanyiwa bibi na nikatatoka dogo. Nikamusana tu ya miaka. Mwaba ni ya kumi. But sasa akaria haga from being a slave, ameadiwa kue bibi ya master wake. It is just like what the many girls are crying. Wari abawa meenda kule, katal, 
na kuna wale wanatoa ushuhuda vile wamekuwa harassed sexual harassment it is it is no joy it is a lot of pain it is a lot of shame na ni mambo ya kuregret sana so that's how she she behaved na mahali anaingia uh, amekuwa amefuata huyu master wake for a long time and now there's like a boss and a force housemate walale na yeye hakika waliende na wakarana na yeye sababu hako ana choice hage toroka aende kwao alikuwa ametoka kwao na amesavi sana she was several kilometers away from home hiyo ni mambo ya kufurahia ama si kufurahia hapo alikuwa na furaha kweli this is not a boyfriend this is not a husband to be hapa ni slave na umeforciwa urare na mtu na yule mtu mnalala na yeye ni kama guka yako mnaona hapa kuna 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 furaha kweli nao jiigia viatuni vya haga bible inasema verse number 4 and he went unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had confused, he had, she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. Sasa na ye Hagar, wakati kariona kamepata mutoto, na kako na Niba, na kako na Abraham, na Abraham sasa mekafanya kama bibi yake, wapiri, kakaansa kuwa na pride, kakaansa kuchukia, sara. Ni kama kana mwapia, mimi niko na miba na bado hujawaipa. This experience you have never had it. So, Sara akaona kama alifanyia makosa na hasa hapa ameanza kukosewa heshima. When you are getting despised, there is a lot of pain in your heart. And there is a lot of thinking that do happen how to deal with the situation. And now remember whoever is being despised here is the one who initiated everything. Sinona dia alikuwa mwanzo wa hii. Bible inasema and Sarai said unto Abraham, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid unto into thy bosom. And when she saw that the, she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. So Sara akapandwa na ushungu. Akapandwa na nini? Na ushungu wake anauelekeza kwa msana. Anamwambia Abraham this is my wrong doing. I am the one who made this mistake. Lakini wewe ukae tu salama. But wacha mimi na yeye Mungu alete fadicho na marete the justice. Sababu ni kama alikuwa anaona anafanya vizuri but now things are the other way round. Praise Jesus. Ni kama vile unaesafika maisha at this experience of many of you. Wakati haga kanipata miba Sikaliona kama ni mama. Sikamepata experience ya kulala na, na, na mzee. So whatever Sarah had experienced, na kulala na Abraham, ata ya experience. So alifika kaona kama, she is equal to her mistress. Ni kama vile, ama wasana muko hapa, ama wafrana muko hapa. Mukifika kiwango kile mumefika, wegiwe, wegiwe ni wako hapo. You know so many things. Baba, Akinyoa devu ata unanyoa. Akikuruma ata unaguruma. Saisi ya kia tuwa kifaa sita unafaa nani. Sasa ata mukieda kwa, kwa shaba. Akipiga kifuti moja ata unapiga moja. So unaezaona kama munatosha. Munatoshana. Sometimes unaezaona pia. Unaezaona hapo ato kieda nyumbani. Umebebea mamu uga. Ya kilo pili. Na baba amebeba ya kilo moja. Unaweza atakao mwambie yani baba unaleta kilo moja na mimi hata bili na mimi ndiye mtoto ungeleta ine. Sasa hapo ni ku despise dad. Ama msana ukiangalia hivi nyore yako vile unafanya hata mamu hivyo inakuwa. Yapo kwanza ukipiga broad line ya mamu hawezi kupiga broad line anapiga ujugu anasikia kuna ujugu mwingi. We unapiga style ka style unaambia mamu hata wewe we, usionai kama unajua mambo kinyo yako vile anaweka yani una despise ukiangalia matiti iko na mamu wako naye yani una, unaona kama umetosha hivyo ndivyo haga alijisikia sasa niko na miba yule mzee mnalala na yeye akami nalala na yeye ni kama wewe uko chini sasa i am taking over so kakao na kiburi litro akasahau mama yake ni sala Na baba yake ni nani? Hii ni mambo ilifanyika makosa makosa kwa nyumba because of the situation. 
Sala was that are going a very hard situation. Ako na mari nyingi, lakini hana mtoto. Na sasa hapa kuna kamtoto, anaweza tawala, na si wakwao, ni muijipshian. Kwa hindi anaweza mtumia, vili agetaka. Lakini all of a sudden, the situation changes. Abraham is neutral. Hawezi pila salai, hawezi pila hala. Nasa hala, aki muangalia hao ni kama ni meida, na muona kama bibi mdogo. Aki agalia sala, naona bibi mkubwa. Nasa unaona hasa vita inaashiwa nini? Wanawaka wawili, amenyane. So Haga is now there, hako na miba, na bado, ameaso kupatiwa hasila nyingi na hui mamu. Na mnajua wa mama wakikasirika. Mnajua mama yako wakikasirika saa hii, anajua kukibia haka mati wewe. Haka kirusha gumi, hakuchiki. We unajua kucheza banya, kuinama, kuinuka. Kwa hivyo vile mama atafanya ni kukamata vizuri, anauma. Sini kweli? So hapa ilikuwa ndivyo hivyo. Bible inasema hivi. But Abraham said unto Sarah, behold, thy thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as the princess be. And when Sarah dealt hungry with her, she fled from her face. Hey. Nasikia bila Abraham asema, amemwambia Sarah, kana gaka kembo kwa ile maku, eka na korea okwe. Nyedile hau. Hui mtoto, anda ichezada yu akea. Do whatever you want with ya. Whatever pleases you, do it. So, Sala tried to exert pressure. Maushuku na hasira kwa hui mtu. Na hako na miba. And you know now, when a girl is pregnant, and the first pregnancy, there are so many emotions. There are so many discomforts. Na hasa miba inaede kukua. So, Sala kawa too hard. Yani wewe ni nani hapa? Na mimi ni kurungula ya nisirefu. Wee ni mutumwa, you are my maid. Hasa unani unaona kama umeteko za sababu ya himiba. Nani ya kwanza? Aka musukuma, aka sukumwa, ile pride ikalikuwa nae. Ikarudu wapi? Lakini when things turned so hard, Bible inasema hapa, wakati alisukumwa sana na sana, haga mustana hapaya kona miba, alitoroka. Alifanya nini? Alitoroka. Nani kulisa sorry mpaka hapo. Wakati ameishi na siku nyingi zake zote for 10 years wameishi na sala. And this time, kuna kitu kimendelea amekosea. Na ameona asa maisha ni gumu sana, na hako very far from home, na sasa ameamua kutoro? Kutoroka. Kwa osa ta good choice. Kama niwe kifanya nini? Akesema nini, nini aketaka kufanya, akefanya. What was the, is the, the most wisdom aketumia hako? Ni ya kutoroka, Ama ni kukaa, ama ni kufanya abortion, ama ni kujiua, ama agafanya nini? Yeah? Age, ni kunye agia nihire? So agesa mate, anyenyeke yese ni? Ageona sasa, I think I am the wrong. Na ni kweli ya nikosea. She had no right ya kudespai sala. Yese ni? By the way, kama si sala agesa magefata mtoto? No. Ata kama ni sala, ata kama agekua the second wife wa Abraham. Nani ya kekua mefanya hiyo ifanyike? Sinisalai. So she should be have respected. So when the situation turns so hard, agaria huyu haga. Wakati mabwe likuwa magumu, aliamua kutoro? Kutoroka. And that is how things things to happen. Wakati maisha yenu inakuwa magumu. Wakati unaona wazazu wame kufinya. Wakati umeona mama haogei na wewe visuri. Muse haogei na wewe visuri. It's like your parents are not with you. It's like unaona kama wame kudhalao, hawa kupendi. If you are not careful, if you don't, if you don't have enough wisdom, you might run away. You might run. Wacha tuone kama mungu wa likubali. Bible inasema hivi first number seven. And the angel of the Lord found her by the fountain of the water in the wilderness. By the fountain in the way to Shul. And he said, Haga. Salai's maid, whence comest thou, and whither wilt thou go? And she said, I free from the face of my mistress, Salai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself under her hands. Angalia vila maraika mamukujia. Kame toroka, na kakitoroka asa miba iko wapi? Nani musito. 
Kameenda. Now wherever she is going, it is the desert. In the desert, there is no shade. Hakuna barabara, hakuna maji, hakuna shakura. She is going into the worst place. Na mahali natoka is a place of abundance. A place where Abraham has everything. Ni nyumbani. But now she decides to go into the wilderness. Mpaka mungu anaona kwa biguni, amekosea. By the masses of God, mungu ameenda kumokoa. Amen. Mwabani ya wabosha. See how the love of our father is. Ata kama ya nyumbaya sana. Ata kama umeafanya umuamuzi mbaya. Still God loves you. Praise Jesus. Maraika yenda kampata karibu na kisima moja. Haka mwapia, umetoka wapi na unenda wapi. Kaka mwapia pana, mimi ni kutoroka na toroka. She was very frank. Na ya maraika na mwapia, please, go back to thy maid. Number two, submit under her hands. Urundi, hapo hapo. Na tena ukifika, unyenyeke. Unyenye? So ni kumanisha nini? When the hard situation come, you should not learn. Learning away won't help you. Ato kitoroka kutoka hapa uwede mwambasa mahali atuta kujua. Hau msaidiki. Ato kitoroka nyumbani. Sababu mepiwa sana. Sababu mambo ni mazito. Wherever you go, haupati ya mani. Praise Jesus. The first thing is deal with the problem. Deal with it. The best way you can. Hapa maraika ni mwabia. Rudy hapo hapo. Na hapo mpromise. Ataenda kuwagia na salai. Alimwabia pana enda. Number two, submit. So wakati unawana situation niko very hard, you should look for a place to submit to. If you cannot submit to your parents, try to submit under the, under the hand of God. Uki submit kwa mungu, ata control the situation. Ata control the situation. Na uwe kitua in every situation, si wewe tu naona iko hard. Si wazazi tu naona iko hard. Even God our Father above, is looking and understanding everything happens in your life. Praise Jesus. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you are not a stranger in the eyes of God. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. The Bible says here, number 10, and the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed. Is that a good promise? Is that a good promise? Yes. Number 2, that it shall not be numbered from multitude. Na itakuwa nyingi sana hiwe se zabika. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with a child, uko na mtoto, and shall be a son, and ika boy, and shall call his name Ishmael, mbaba mepewa jina mtoto. Na Ishmael ni kusema, God has heard, or God shall hear. Praise Jesus. Ame kutana maraika, maraika ya mamapia, number one, go back where you are. Go back home. Go back Number two, when you get home, submit, sub, submission yo imekosa. Ata hii unaona mkisukumana na walimu shuleni. It is because you failed to submit. Even when watu wanakosana na wajiri wao, umeajiriwa mahali, and then things are so hard. It is because somebody is not able to submit. Kusubmit ni kunyenyekea. Ni kujifanya kama mjiga, lakini uko hapo, kama muswadi fila nasema, ukitaka cha mfugu ni shati, Sinikweli? Because there is no way in this world you shall be above your parent. Yes, you can be blessed more than your parents. Your parents may own just one house, but you may own an estate. But blessing-wise, authority-wise, how you shall never be above your parents. Mwabani ya kumi. Ata wakena kwa kaburini, bado ni wazazi. Bado ni nini? Ata kama ni wabaya saidi. Just submit. Just. But when you submit, the best thing is, nyinyi mkodani ya mugu. Ukisubmit, abia mugu. Look, I submit. Na ya mugu anafanya promises. Anafanya nini? Wakati kalikubali. Wakati kalikubali tu, mugu anafanya promises. Ukona mtoto, na huya mtoto, atakuwa, ataongezeka. Na huya mtoto, ataitwa Ishmael. Na jina Ishmael kusema, God shall hear. God shall hear. Yes. Isipo kwa when the situation comes, Pakati mbukele tunasahau, promises. Tunasahau nini? Na, wakati huyu, wakati haga alitoroka, akitoroka likuwa na flaha ama na uchungu wa moyo. So, when the situation turns hard, it can again start up your anger, start up your 
unatoroka ukiwa na marakara ukiwa na hasira ukiwa na nini hasira. na mimi huwa anasema hasira si mnasema kwa Kiswahili hasira ya mkisi ni furaha ya ya mfufi si kweli hasira ya mkisi ni, ya, ni furaha ya mfufi mkisi ni yule samaki nimesema mara nyingi yule samaki ndani ya maji lakini hupenda maji tulifu maji hapo hakuna fujo hakuna kerele naye mfufu mfufi the fisherman huwa anapenda kwenda hapo na hapo sababu ni rahisi sana kumchika huyu samaki akienda kazi yake ni kuchukua kiboko na kutandika maji akitandika maji maji inatoa kelele naye mkisi anakasirika anaruka juu kama futi ile akiruka juu anaangalia ile mkubwa naye anachukua gitaruru yake anaweka akianguka bifaa aradi kwa maji anaanguka wapi anamweka hapa wakikosa kuruka tena anapiga maji wanakasirika wanaruka juu kuangalia ni nini hiyo wakirudi chini ya maji anaangalia ile mkubwa anamkamatia wa hewa jioni anakuwa sapa hivyo ndivyo shetani anafanya akitumia hadi situation We ukasirike unaruka unatoka kwa nyumba mahali unaanguka unaanguka mikononi mwa shetani lakini hapa sala mugu, hagai mungu alikuwa anaangalia akamfuata sababu alikuwa kamefuata mtu wa Mungu mtu aliyeitwa na Mungu it is different from you nyinyi mko ndani ya kanisa you are following Jesus and if you are not following Jesus maybe you are following a pastor who has been called by Jesus should the hard situation come god is there for your rescue lakini wale wako nje ya kanisa hawajaokoka they can have an extra hard time sababu hawajafuata aliyeitwa na Mungu it can be very hard for God to run after them lakini nyinyi mko mahali pasuri kanito ya neighbor uko pere ni kwa sababu umeamua kuokoka praise jesus na haga alisikia amekataliwa alisikia e, there was a spirit of rejection na hivyo ndivyo inafanyika especially when your parent cannot support you fully wakati unahitaji simu ya touch mzazi wewe sinunua wakati unastahili kulala in your own room but you are still sleeping in the same room na mama yako wakati unastahili kuralia matesi yako but still haiwezekani unaambiwa urale pale miguuni na ya mama na hapa nyingine wakati unastahili kuwa na gobili ya kubadilisha but it is very hard mzazi kununua uko na moja tu jio nasukuka naye the whole the whole the whole, the whole month hii for sundays guo ni moja mpaka nigeza adu mole so lile tofauti ni utiraga sadi igire nigeza matikone guo imwe sadi osa sifa moyo hiyo ni situation hard situation wakati unataka yatu mzuri lakini bado hata ukiangalia mzazi hata yake bado lakini wewe unata wakati kama huo you might kama hautakuwa mahali vizuri na uwe mtu wa kusamehetwa kunyenyekea that situation inaweza kufanya ukipia nyumba uende utafute kasi atenie digodho marege yakagasha ya we mwadhani ya kumi So when hard decision comes don't run away don't run and they don't allow the problem to control your mind you submit and if you cannot submit to the parents submit to god naye mungu atakureski praise jesus number 2 chapter number 21 of genesis the same story ya huyu mstana bible inasema hivi and the lord faced Teddy Sala as he had said And the Lord did Sala and as he had spoken for Sala conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him and Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him who shall bear him Isaac and Abraham circumcised his son Isaac being eight days old as God had commanded him and Abraham was hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him and Sarah said God has made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me and she said who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck for I have born him a son in his old age and the child grew and was weaned and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned First number nine, and Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which he had born unto Abraham, mocking. And wherefore she said unto Abraham, 
cast out this body woman and her son. For the son of this born woman shall not be a heir with, with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because his son, because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the Lord and because of thy born woman. He know that Sarah has said unto thee, Hear can unto her voice. For in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also the son of old woman will I make a nation because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took a bread, a bottle of water, and they gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, and they shout and they sent them away. And she departed and they watered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottom. And she cast the child unto one of the shrubs. And she went and sat her down of against him a good way off, as it was a bow shot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lifted her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the land. And the angel of God called Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What ail of thee, Hagar? Fear not. For God has heard the voice of the Lord where he is. Arise, lift up the Lord, and hold him in thine heart. For I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the Lord to drink. And God was with the Lord, and he grew, and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an anchor. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. His mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. Praise Jesus. Now, Agaria situation number two. Sarah has accepted Hagar back. But he had learned by herself. Wakati alirudi, haka mkubaria, haka nyibari. Haka ka, haka za. Wakati aliza, I can imagine Sarah helped this, this girl to bring up this child. Wakamulea akawa of age. But after 100 years, or 14 years later, Mugu akabari kuyu mama na mtoto. So Isaac was born, but the age difference between Isaac and Ishmael was 14 years. Sasa alikuwa kijana mkubwa, sini mtoto wa form one huyo. He, wakati fisi litegeneswa, Bible says, Sal aliona Ishmael wakicheza na Isaac. Aka hisi uchuku mwingi sana. Aka mwambi Abraham. Now it is time. You chase away this woman. Sasa. Asukui na mapema. Before akunye shai. Aka itua. Haka. Amka. Ishima ya. Oka. Wakapewa kikwa moja maji. Na kamkata nusu. Wakabiwa. Out and go. And never come back. Here. Na walikuwa wapi. Farifa. And she had come from all the way from Egypt. Sasa, mambo imekua muzito wa maraisi. Muzito. Muzito sana. Sasa, Sarah is no longer happy with Hagar. Abraham again, ya memuapia, toka wende. And the boy, ni mkubu hapa ni wapi 14 years. Na wamepewa chupa moja ya maji. Mahali wanaenda, kame subuka sana. Kame subuka? Hagar alisubuka na alitembea wakakunywa maji ikaisha mahali anafika mtoto anamwambia mama nipatie maji na hana maji au yeye anipatie mkate hana mkate hakuna and in the desert hakuna duka there's no water there's no neighbor hakuna mahali unaisaenda mahali huko unless you find a scorpion ama kitu kingine ama tortoise nothing else because of the hard situation alichukua mtoto Akaona vile um, mtu wakikosa maji. When you are so much dehydrated, you can easily fall. Sinikweli? Unaesa ngu? Vila mwagi alisema. Aliona musa na mwagi akua na jasa na akangu. Akanguka. Hata si maji tumenda kupena shakula hapa. Hapa, 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 shiku ushalo. Tumenda shakula watu wa mekiu sana, ni wengi sana, jua ni kari sana. Mama mwagi akanguka. Ni kwa sababu ya jaa na the situation. Praise Jesus. Nakini ali, 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 alisaidiwa. So... Haga akaona my son is going. Na akaona mtoto wanaku. 
akamchukua mahali unaweza shoot ya arrow mahali unaweza rusha mshale hivi ni kama 100 meters akamweka hapo ndani ya kishaka the small shrub na yeye akaenda kwa bikine so mtoto alikuwa analilia pale mami hemai mami hemogate mama nipatie maji nisaidie naye mama hapa analia woi Mungu sasa kuna mtoto wako akifa wacha kuve tu nikiwa bali na yeye na mimi ndiye next but because of the hard situation alisahau baba muhimu sana alisahau baba muhimu akasahau the first promise alikuwa ameambiwa mtoto wake atakufa ama ataishi lakini sasa anaona ki so when the situation is so hard you don't see life you see death you see death when you, when the situation is so hard you don't see a good future you see bad future When the situation is so hard, you don't see anything good coming. You see the bad things coming. Praise Jesus. Amen. So, Malaikine, mtoto wake alikuwa anaitwa Ishmael. And the name Ishmael means God shall si akesema Mungu, sulisema mtoto wangu ni utasikia. Sasa naomba utusikie, uone tunalia. But mtoto pia lilia, malaika kashuka. Alienda kwa mama akamwambia, God has heard The child crying. The child? Si yeye. Muto? Muto kwa sababu jina inasema God shall. Yeah. And that is why it is very good also to be blessing your name. Praise Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless your name. Bless your name. Ukiangalia ile jina unaitagwa na ujue yule ambaye unanemiwa after that person. Maiti yake si mazuri sana. Go start confessing. My name Kenya is a blessed name. I shall not have any evil. I shall not have any cars. I shall not have bra 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 bra. Bless yourself. Bless you. Because the life and the power of your tongue has a lot of blessings and power. Amen. Amen. So Sarah hapa, hakai hapa kaabiwa go and live to your child. Hakufi. Anaenda kuwa multiplied. You cannot multiply a dead thing. Sometimes why do you why do many people drop out of school when the situation is so hard? Wanaona hawezi soma tena, maisha yamefika mwi. Maisha yamefika mwisho. But that's not the truth. The truth is your life is in the hands of God. Before you give up, uliza Mungu, was this my head? Was this my? Head? Before you find anything, watu wengine wamefanya kukunywa dawa ama wengine wanakuwa desperate, anaenda kukunywa bangi, anaingia kwa ukahamba, anaingia kufanya kazi of your fear. Before you do anything, ask God. God, is this my head? Did you just create me and help me to be here and was this my head before you engage in any evil ask god is this my head ama kuna kitu kingine there was still more for ishmael and hag lakini hag alikuwa naona kifo ya mtoto na vile mtoto aliweka aliweka mahali kwa kabush aliona pia yeye na eh anaenda praise jesus wakati alikubali the good thing for hag she was very obedient wakati kaliambiwa rudi kalirudi wakati aliyepo na abraham songa enda kalienda hasa malaika anamwambia shukua mtoto anashukua mtoto baada ya kuchukua mtoto because of that obedience bible inasema alifugua masho mungu hakuchimba kisima god opened her eyes and there was a well just around just but because of the hard situation ile ikwe mesalaud haga she could not even see the well that was just very near Sometimes unaweza kubwa na matatizo, ubebe mashida ya nyumbani, ubebe mashida ya nyumbani ya wazazi, ubebe ingine ya marafiki, ubebe ya shule, ubebe mpaka ya itora, ubebe ya kanisa, even the blessing near you hauoni. Hiyo itakutatiza and the enemy can really destroy. You. Praise Jesus. Alipofukua masho aliona nini? Kizima. Bible inasema alipoona kizima, alishota maji akajasa ile chupa akapatia mtoto mtoto akakunywa wakasafai hapo dipo alianza kurudisha maisha yake nyuma akaona i must now become responsible i must now become responsible hakuambia malaika nirudi nyumbani hakumwambia kana mimi aliangalia situation akasema Mungu umeniwekea kizima hapa eh na sasa kuanzia hapa nitakaa nita hapa na alikaa hapo alikaa wapi na akaanza kutafuta chakula na nini na bible inasema the boy grew the boy she became a very responsible woman hakuregret 
kwa nini alifukuzwa na hakupewa hata kamnyama hata moja hata kadume hata kauka ngombe hakupewa hakupewa hata pesa alipewa vitu ambavyo ni za kuisha mkata na maji lakini Mungu hapa anampatia ewe praise Jesus Hala alikuwa naona just a bottle of water hiyo anakazika ana sana but here God provided a well that could not dry up dry kwa hivyo wakati unaenda unasema nimefika mwisho nitaoleka nitaoa nitaenda kutafuta kibarua nitaenda kuchuna milaa nikule nikunywa bagi nifute nini hata nitatoroka nyumbani hapana before you do that there are better things Mungu amekupangia amefanya nini na wakati hapo Bible inasema when the boy grew Haga herself alienda mpaka Egypt akatafutia Ishmael a wife from her own tribe from her own so now I'm a responsible mother. Ile machida hasa ambaye overcome. Amefanya nini? Ame overcome. Na amelea mtoto. Na siku hizo mtu akienda kutafutia kijana wake bibi, lazima umbebe mali. So in a way she was able to overcome the desert life. Akapata ngombe, akapata busi na akapata kitu ku support mtoto. Praise Jesus. Mambo mawili Mungu alikuwa anafunza alikuwa anamfunza submission sub when things are very hard and number two, obedience obey, obey. Mm-hmm. usingangane na mzazi usingangane na mwalimu usingangane na your boss because some of you in future you shall find yourself employed or some of you employed usingangane na boss only do not allow yourself kufanya ile baya ile mungu anaweza kataa kiwa vikuni but anything else hata kama utakuwa despite the frame is used we kubali ukijua hiyo sio mwisho na when people are despising you na wakati wa misuse vibaya ulisaga mungu god is this what you are designed for me na kama ni hii for how long will it be mungu anakuaga na mwisho wa mambo na mwasa wa mambo amen, amen. praise jesus bwana yesu asifiwe when the hard decision comes don't run away don't run amen. even don't commit suicide don't commit suicide. don't even drop what is already in your hands usije tu ka drop chule sababu ya hata kama utafukuzwa miaka mingi na ngana tu praise jesus and again usitorokee mungu jua god has the final word god has the final si watoto wa sana siko naipa ha the final say si ni kweli sasa kidogo niwapie mambo mashache kidogo na niseme he had life had situation can it really brighten your eyes your, your future can be so bright lakini hapo unateseka mateso hilo unapata saa hii ama magumu naweza pitia nyumbani at the family level maybe one parent died maybe you are only with the father maybe you are only with the mother or maybe you are with the stepfather or the stepmother this situation cannot measure how your future will be. Hata vile una perform chule, haiwezi measure vile future itakuwa. Maisha kuwa masuri si kupata A A A na maisha kuwa mabaya si kupata E E E. Maisha inakuwa mkoroni mwa Mungu. Na mwa Mungu praise Jesus. Amen. See Joseph alikuwa minister in Egypt but did he attend any school? Lakini alifanya hesabu ya the whole world. Praise Jesus. Personally when I was a small boy mimi nimezaliwa kwa familia tuko watu saba tuko watu na mimi niko mzaliwa watano and my family was like shifting separation after year separation come back go come back go at one time my dad separated with my mom for 10 years na unajua vile vile mnakuwa named after the father side or the mother side mimi nilibaki na baba sababu nilikuwa named after my father side na nikakaa sana nikaka chuleni kufukuzwa kurudi kufukuzwa kurudi and then ile kanyumba tulikuwa tunakaa ni ile nyumba nilikuwa nasema ya matope ya nini na huko ndani kitanda ilikuwa moja ya my dad and the situation was so bad na mimi nilikuwa nalalia kama unajua inyesi nyasi kama ile hapa iko nje unakata when ikidrive kidogo una pile alafu na ilalia baba yake alikuwa anaipatia kabuti nzuri na jifunika lakini hii nyumba tunalala hata ukitaka kuvuta mtu nje ni kutoa tu kutoa tu mchanga kidogo 
na ndani alikuwa ndani ya bia 6 ndani ya nyumba tufuge mlango na ile mlango tunafuga hakuna kufuri ni kamuti tuna cross hiki dirisha hakuna kufugua dirisha ilikuwa ni madram tulikuwa tumeka mabati hivi ka, 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 ka raft hivi na kamoja unaweka kibati hivi kwa hiyo ungeka kufugua dirisha ni kufuta hii mabati shini and he was also telling me mapema mapema ndani ya nyumba sababu maduni wengi wangetaka kukuua nibaki pia mtoto na nilimwamini so tulikuwa kwa nyumba kila wakati lakini nyumba na ma tena nyumba yetu ikichomwa sana na jua alafu huwa inyesha ile upande upande matope inaanguka ikianguka ile magomu zemze tunadhinikira huko so ukiangalia kwa nyumba yetu ilikuwa gani ma imechanganywa iko na pattern nzuri soil samodi clothes kigia dani vitanda ya manyasi hivyo hivyo na tena nguo zetu sikaisha sana sikaisha so sikisha baba yangu aliniokea turaka mingi my shot was full of turakas mpaka watu walikuwa wananiita karaka <laughs> lakini hata yeye suruali yake ndefu ilikuwa ni viraka hivyo isipokuwa my viraka ilikuwa ka smarter yake ilikuwa ka na shot na uzi ile ya gunia lakini tukitembea mnaona tuna mashi tu ilikuwa ni zero nzuri mtoto karaka kwa mzee karaka <laughs> and life continue life na wakati nilikuwa shule watoto walikuwa naniita sana karaka 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 but i continued going to school isipokuwa fees ilikosa na wakati nijaribu sana kujificha kwa kishaka na nini i could not do it so nili drop school for four years for four na nilika nikaka na nishiriki moja unafukusiwa and finally god made a way god made i never gave up wakati kulifanyika jia nirudi shule my mom had come back vile walirudiana project ya kwanza ni mimi nirudi shule na nikarudi kurudi shule oi mwana wangu ametema na maplus na times go imeenda nilichapwa sana mpaka nikaona huyu mwalimu ananionea the situation was so hard but kuna pasta alikuwa anaitwa pasta kamau and they thank god that they are, they are always men of god somewhere to encourage your heart aliniombea sana na nilikuwa ninashia na yeye and one time Mungu alifukua tu akili na nikaelewa plus ni nini na taifu ni nini vita yangu na mwalimu ikaishia wapi na nikaendelea tena na masomo nikasoma nikasoma before to some separation dio hiyo nikaashia mtoto mwingine aliyekuwa nyuma yangu sasa when i was started 6 7 i was almost, i was a father a parent taking care of my younger brother maisha ilikuwa magumu sababu ya feeding hapa ilibidi wakati mwingine nikawa mtu abani inaita kwa hadeko ile ukoroge na nyumba mtu mkaidi hapa my dad wanted me to pick tea monday friday saturday and monday so two days nige miss shule lakini hapa nilisema hii ni moja hii nilifanya ni drop shule so nilikataa nilipoasi na yeye akaniambia na hii shaba hakuna chakula tutakuwa kikula hapa utakula vitabu na hiyo masomo kasema dio lakini my grandmother's forest haikuwa bali sana i could always travel through the forest for about two hours every weekend na yeye anachukua chakula nyingi yangu na my brother but one time the situation ikawa too much na ikawa so hard karibu nisikie nitaenda kujinyonga but there was voice telling me not yet not life is much better praise jesus na siku moja we are almost going hungry kulala bila chakula ilikuwa na friday na hiyo friday iliniumiza sana nilikuwa nashitwa huyu mtoto ako nasari na ndala kumwambia nini atitulale na hakuna hivyo tutaiba hapo nilikuwa nashitwa nitafanya nini but on my way home a friend of mine kaniambia na leo hizo atusikibie sana alikuwa anaitwa chao anaitwa chao gogo is a good friend of mine na tulionana tukiwa primary sijai muona tena but nijua alienda kusomea udaktari tukifika kwa kwa gate aliniambia kwaje hapo kwa gate alienda kwa nyumbani that very day akaniletea paper bag ndani yake ilikuwa na ile mguu ya mkono ya bere ya swala walikuwa wamekamata swala kichaka wakachilo kumaliza akanipatia the first mguu ya bere Nikasema ha ha nikaiwoka sababu hatukuwa na kitu 
Sasa nimepita kwa kishaka nikiambia Mungu asante. Tulikuwa tulala ejara lakini ulikuwa umepaka tutakula nyama. Nilienda nikaishemsha. Nikiishemsha ni gumu sana. So nikatakata mayo yanga brother anaka dhona kehede akishuki pona kiasha na mimi nachukua ninamalisia. Alafu kasuku tukatalemsha tukalala. Tafura morning tukakimbia. God provide God. Lakini mimi nilikuwa naona tulalala ja but God was saying a meal ila hatukuwa tumekula for a long time praise jesus and mpaka nikaenda na nikasoma na nikamaliza but the problem again came wakati nilienda form 1 niliadimetua shule msuri sana lakini nilisoma tu shule hizo zamani tulikuwa tunakuwa tunadimetua february alafu mnasoma kidogo tu mid term march mnafunga mnaenda second term mimi nilisoma hiyo then march Kufunga siku na fisi ya kurudi second term nikakaa nyumbani third term nikaona sasa hata nguo zangu na box yangu itaozea shule so nilirudi nikaenda nikaambia principal ile shida niko nayo vile principal aliniambia kaniambia Isaac nitaambia secretary akuandikie tu barua unajua, unajua ile barua ya kuitaka watu shai kafa dressing we never i i invite you for this Tukadi kwa twingi haki nilijaza pepo bagi mzima na alafu akanipatia bagi ya box yangu nikarudi nyumbani akaniambia when you get money utarudi shule na mimi nikajua maybe no nikaenda nyumbani and i thought that my life was was an end mimi sikuwa na tarajia nitaenda kusoma tena nikakaa hapo nyumbani 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 nilikuwa naona hii maisha ni gumu sana but one woman came Huyo mungu ya alikuwa ametumwa na, na, na mungu. Na mpaka leo cheza live anaitwa Cecilia wa, wa Kengadia. Huyo she, madam Cecilia alikuja nyumbani kwetu. Akaniambia Isaac, hii kisha yako sia kukaa hapa. Fanya hivi, uende kwa ile shule iliyoanzishwa pale na kanisa. Hata kama ni zile zinakaa kama Harabe School. Harabe School silikuwa ni zile za villages. Silijilikana ni za watu wajiga na watu maskini. Waenda tu hapo Chule ndio isomaji ni mtoto huwa nasoma. Na mimi nikaamua kwenda hapo. Na mimi nilijipeleka. Kujipeleka. Yule head mistress nilipata pale. Kumbe alikuwa anatafuta watoto. Kaniambia kuja. Hata hiyo uniform ya hiyo shule kuja naye. So mimi nikaingia hapo na Mungu akanisaidia nikasoma. Nilipofika form 4 atinifanya form 4, nikagojeka sana. Sababu nilikuwa nimeenda kufanya mountain climbing na hatukuwa tulifanya tena. Nikagojeka sana. So nikifanya exam nikuwa nafanya exam wakati kwa free na napeleka hospitali things were so bad mpaka nilikuwa nauliza Mungu yani kwani masomo yangu yuko na nini primary 4 years nilikaa kwa kishaka tena hapa hii secondary nimesoma mwaka wa mwisho ndio hii mkifanya mtihani nimegojeka sikufanya vizuri nilipata C minor so ni, ni the following year nilienda kuwa hoka nikahoka matunda kule karatina Nika hoke ya my brother mpaka siku moja usiku na vile nimeshoka kiatu kilikuwa kimeisha unajua kiatu kikiisha hapa kisigino pande moja kinakaa kama kanyoi hapa na ingine kanyoi hapa hasa ukienda unajikata hapa <laughs> kilikuwa kimeinama hasa unaenda hivi chua hasa hapa nilipaka na kidoda hapa na hapa kakidoda ni kutikatu na viatu na vile kimeisha akaniabia na kenywa neo jiaga mono hake niliabia na muibiaga na huwa na muibia pesa Nilika sirika, ushungwa moyo, nika mwabia diyo choka kwenye matuto mashini. <laughs> Hapo dipo, mwalimu, alikuwa menitumania. Nika eda wakamuliza, mwalimu nikula sama nini. Kaniyabia Isaac, hii, hii grade C yako, hudi tena hapa, ufanye mutihani marapi. Sababu na juli kwa mwajwa sana, na hii grade C yako. Na nika amua kurundi shule, nika amua kurundi, nika rudia tena. Sasa, form 4, ni iso mame ya kamigapi? Na mimi, fisi yagu mama yagu alikuwa naletaga, analeta tumahidi, analeta tumaharagwe. Na mimi nikaamua, kiatu, na uniform, kalamu na vitabu, ni mimi. Kila weekend, nikuwa nafanyanga vibarua, na jisapoti na hiyo. Praise Jesus. Mpaka nilikuwa na guo ya motupa uniform, na nilisaidia mwanafunzi moja, hapu wana moja, wanaeza sfile. Lakini hivyo maisha iliedelea. Mimi sikuwa najua nitaesaenda hata college, lakini college nilijisomesha. 
nikafanya certificate na nikafanya diploma nilijisome nilijisomesha hata kama sikumaliza deni ya serikali praise jesus lakini ile sicho nilikuwepo hapo ni kama ya kukupinga usiebebe so if you reset to the situation unaweza and after that nilianza kuona nimeajiriwa mimi kazi yangu ya kwanza nilikuwa mtu wa kuzabao kazi ile ingine ya pili nilipata ya maana sana niliweka kaduka nikafikiria za nimepik lakini kaduka yangu ni hara <laughs> na nikaona mambo ni hara imeharagana ni baya nikaajiriwa kama pigi ya tende unajua mtu wa wa, 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 wa gurue aki nilikuwa najiangalia kwa gurue na project wa san naona utofauti ni kidogo tu ni vile naenda kwangu lakini tuko pamoja kumbe mahali nimeajiriwa kwa hiyo chaba ya magrue na mimi niko na kidogo mzuri sana na nimepita vizuri sana na mimi nilikuwa ni ile university lakini sasa pesa hakukua nikaipa college nyingi lakini sikuenda yule famani ya tulikuwa na yeye akaiba maziwa akakamatwa na mwenyewe alifutwa kasi na siku hiyo nikiwe nikiamkia job ya kwenda kwa gurue badani ile kwa gurue nilipata mwenye mwenye shaba amesimama hapo nikiingia nikaambiwa kwanza usiende huko kuja hapa nikaenda hapo watu wote wa shamba kiingia wakiingia mkutano pale to my surprise ilisemekana Isaac is the new farm manager ah. nikatolewa kwa gurue nikafanywa farm nikafanya kazi huko msuri sana na nikaaminika isipokuwa kazi ilikuwa gumu sana na maisha ikawa gumu tena hapo ndipo nilipata kazi ngine msuri sana ya kuwa mwalimu ya kuwa mwalimu mwalimu ni mtu wa maana nilikuwa mwalimu wa pepe class <laughs> <laughs> na mimi pia nilikuwa the first male teacher wa pepe class in the whole of gobet zone gobet hii mnaona hapa mimi pia kwa mwalimu wa kwanza wacha tutoto nyumbani tukuje na ni private tukina tunajikumia tunajikalia sasa ilikuwa kazi ya kutupangusa kuza picha hiyo tuguo yao ilibidi mpaka ninunue kamoja niwekae kwa class kakijikorea na kujihara kakijiharia na badilisha nafua hiyo nafaa hii alafu nilikuwa na ndio watu mafuta ile ya remis akikunywa uji unajua hajipangusi na wapangusa vizuri na katawero kako na tumaji moto alafu natupaka tumafuta at least kakieda nyumbani kako smart vile kalitoka unajua mzazi akiona mtoto si smart anaweza muhamisha na dhambo unapata watoto ndivyo kamchalo unaweza pata isipokuwa nilikuwa nalipwa 1800 nikafanya hiyo kazi nikaifanya siku moja Mungu akani promote manager wa shule akawa na mihango mingi nikachukua lesson zake hapa classes hizo nilichukua hesabu ya 3 yesterday 4 na 5 ndio iliongozaga hapa mpaka nikaitwa jioni nikaulizwa hii maxi ya watoto ama umefanya doctoring nikauliza doctoring nimekufanya nini siko nimeelewa hiyo kiingereza nikaambiwa nikupatia alama kwa watoto ambao si zao nikamwambia that one i cannot do nikahamishwa kutoka bp class nikawa mwalimu wa apa primary lakini wazazi wa bibi class walikuja manager yule mwalimu alikuwa hapa unaweza turudishia sasa ah. <laughs> <laughs> di promotion imekuja sasa nataka nirudi wapi pale but kutoka hapo nikawa head teacher na mpaka leo mimi pia nilikuwa the best head teacher kwa ile shule iko pale inaitwa Bekamo na mimi pia niliweka the highest minisco ya hesabu na watoto wengi sana hapa kote na hijawahi kuwa broken praise jesus mm-hmm. kutoka hapo nikawa children's manager kutoka hapo hapo ndipo mungu aliniongeresha niwe full time pastor baada ya kutrain kama missionary pale Mozambique praise jesus mm-hmm. na leo mimi ndiye founding director wa Ria ile imefanya kazi nyingi huku kote na mahali pengine ina inaendelea praise jesus mm-hmm. ni kusema nini the situation ukikubali inaweza kukufuka ba lakini ukingangana naye useme i'm not dying i am living siachili hapa ninasonga mbele i am submit to god niendelee kuambia mungu mungu na kuamini mambo haitasimama hapa mungu atatembea na wewe na maisha yako ya baadaye itakuwa ni historia na, na, na kama testimony ya kupatia watu kulingana na mahali mepiti mwadhani ya roho kwa hivyo hata kama uko peke yako hauna mzazi hata mmoja jipe moyo jipe you can become the life rescue
kwa watu wengine maisha ya baadaye so long as you submit to god you become obedient now we are very close to god very close to now don't allow the situation to drive you start driving the situation out of your way praise jesus ukiona kitu msitu imekuja isukume wakati ni ashio mtoto na hakuna chakula tunapewa mimi nilifua kukuawili kwa kutega mayai na jogo moja and those two shike walinisaidia nikiuza mayai na mnunulia karamu nikiuza hii na ya ingine nikiuza na nunua chakula hii huku kukuawili ni survive na wao lazima nitumia nini hebu za hapa sema god bless my mind that I may make wise decisions in Jesus name hii kitu mepewa hapa na Mungu ni ya maana sana ni ya maana wakati mwingine parents may not be able but you can but you you can wanaweza sifiwe baba yangu hakuweza kujenga nyumba mzuri but finally I was able to build a better house mwaka ni ya 10 hiyo hakuweza kunipeleka chule mzuri lakini nimeweza kupeleka watoto wangu chule mzuri kwa hivyo hata kama wewe unaona na wewe ni discola hapa unasoma kiatu moja the whole year iko na iko na chimo kama yangu hiyo si kusema hautaifaa kiatu mzuri maishani you can become the better owner you can become the shoe seller sababu Mungu dia kwa na maisha God is good and all the time inabisha uso wako nataka uangalie ile maisha umepitia kama ni masuri mwambie Mungu asante kama umepitia maisha ambayo iko na changamoto nataka uone Mungu katikati ya hiyo maisha just see God in the midst of the life you are going if it is very hard just see God just see Jesus next to you walking with you kama roho yako iko karibu kufika mwisho just see that God has a bigger future than you can see mwambie Mungu nifungue macho that i may see what is ahead of me mwambie Mungu i need you to hold my hand in the name of Jesus We give you glory we give you glory and the honor we give you glory